Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video I'd like to introduce to you a new horn series that I'm offering to the DIY community. This is the Sabrin horn. This is the successor to the Summer Rain horn and it's got a number of improvements that I'd like to touch on in this video. Starting with the clean uh, appearance at the back of the horn. So you'll, if you recall the Summer Rain horn had support ribs. This doesn't have those anymore and so we've being able to do these miter joints which allow for a very strong con construction and if you're using a cross cut saw or a sled on a table saw you'll be able to easily construct this horn. So the next thing I'd like to look at is the horn flare geometry itself which is now using the ES curvature So this diagram shows the side profile of the horn and you can see the blue line which is the ES curvature. And so this horn now uses a three stage horn flare geometry where the summer rain was a two stage. And so the way I've done it is I've followed the horn flare geometry with these straight segments and the deviation from the ideal curve never exceeds eight millimeters at each point and so we're pretty close as far as that's concerned so you're gonna get um, the ES curvature is optimized for audiophile listening and so I've also included a very wide throat angle and so you can see here I'm using a 16 degree angle in the throat and so what this does is it really minimizes any standing waves in the throat when, from my testing, what I've found that if, if it's under 8 degrees, then that's when you start to see those standing waves start to get set up. So another interesting aspect to this horn is the very wide mouth angle of 71 degrees. And so that's going to do two things. It's going to uh, reduce the first order reflections where the sound reflects directly back down the horn throat, creating a resonance. And the other... Uh, nice thing is that because it's such a wide angle is it's really going to reduce edge diffraction off of the horn mouth. So in, in the plans that I'm offering on my website I'm incorporating six different size variants and so to make things simple to understand I've I've done this product matrix so each size has a four digit number starting with 1293 through to through to 1298. And so the horn increases in size as you go through the different variants, starting with a two inch square. And so if we go over to the SolidWorks, you can see that it uses a two inch square in the mouth. And if you use a throat adapter, you can actually add a compression driver such as the BNC DCX 464, which is good down to 300 hertz. And so the 1293 plans uh, is sized for a 300 hertz cutoff. Included in the plans is the 3D CAD file for the throat adapter, so you can have this 3D printed or CNC machined. Moving up through the size variants, 1294 has a three inch square throat, and then it goes to four inch, six and a half, and then eight inch. And the last size variant, I simply increase the low frequency cutoff to 200 Hertz, so it's, so it's a much larger horn. So I've also included um, a suggested design for use in a full range or mid range driver. And so 1299 is a rear sealed chamber that can be increased in size to accommodate larger drivers. So I have a suggested design included in the plans that utilizes the Fostex FE 108 E Sigma. And so it uses a small sealed rear chamber. So those are included in the plans. And so if you're looking for support on a different driver, then I offer a design service to accommodate that. And I also can make recommendations on which driver would suit your application. So here I have a design configuration with a 15 inch base cabinet uh, flanking top and bottom. So this is a good visual representation of 
the 1293 size, which is using a horn mouth dimension of uh, 500 millimeters or half a meter with the height and the width. So you can see these details on my blog. Um, when you're making a horn, I would suggest the use of a uh, cross-cut saw and also using a digital angle finder to set up your angles uh, very accurately, which will just improve the overall assembly experience and the, the result in you know a seamless design <laughs> at the back and, join, and ensuring that all the panels fit together nicely. So that concludes. I'll put the product link in the description um, for the for the plans. Take care and have a great day.